as a command, what we do here is, is we fix ships, specifically our Navy ships, and our mission is to maintain and modernize the Navy's fleet, and that is a big task. That means it's our job to fix boats and fix them right and get them out there so they can do their part to defend the nation. So that's, it's all about the boats. How do we take the ship when it comes in, get it all fixed up and get it out on time, under budget, with those healthy, happy people that want to do it again and again? That ship and those components and those pieces, that catapult that our guys work and that trough that they align with the lasers, that's the thing that's going to be making a difference. And it has to work and it has to be there for when we need it. We are doing something important and I, and I know when I take new employees down to the ships and sit there go, you're going to help this ship move through the water. You're going to sit there and help this ship launch weapons. You're going to sit there and help this ship or platform launch aircraft. We get to work on some of the most technologically advanced uh, ships in the entire world and uh, we get to do what some people only dream about here. The type of work we have here is so dynamic that it forces you to stay on the cutting edge. The skills that people have here have to advance with the Navy. If the Navy deploys a new advanced ship, the way that we maintain it here has to advance with it. So we're constantly having to innovate. You see over the fence from outside and you have a perception of the shipyard and then you get to come through the gates and that changes. Things are huge and things are amazing, things you've never seen before. Seeing how enormous these carriers were was just crazy. It's just huge and it just amplifies the mission and the enormity of the mission that we're serving here. It's like having a backstage pass to one of the greatest shows on earth. For over a century, this shipyard has serviced this community, and likewise, the community has serviced the shipyard. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's got a deep history, deep-rooted history. There's lots of family upon family members that have worked here, and uh, generations, in fact. In World War II, my grandpa was on the USS Lexington as a carrier over in Japan, and they got shot up, and so they came over here to get fixed. And so he was actually here in the shipyard in World War II. And when you see that, I, I can just sit there and I think about what it was like during that time frame when the yard was full of people all trying to get these ships out and the commitments and the women and things and young folks and whoever could just rally around that effort. And, and I like to think you hear those voices sometimes when you go in those spaces around the command. It's got a lot of uniquenesses, but one of the things that I particularly like is the history of this place. You sit there and you walk around here and this place is 125 plus years old in a lot of places and you can just see some of the, the architecture. I love the old architecture of the base. The thing that hits home most about the shipyard's history is day to day in my job when I come across an old book or a piece of equipment that's from the 30s, 40s, 50s. I even found an old spyglass that was from 1919. It, it's just interesting to be able to, to actually touch a piece of the history. lot of things about working at the shipyard. Uh, mostly I enjoy the people. Definitely the people. The people. The people. The people. The people. The people. It's the people. The people at the shipyard are fascinating. They're, they're creative, they're brilliant, they're, they're great to work with, they're excited about their work and they're, they're proud of their work. Out of everything I do, the people, there's so many wild, crazy, wonderful, brilliant people that work here and so I like hearing people's stories and getting to know why they're here, understanding what they're doing here. The folks who work here range from uh, scientists, 
to mathematicians to tradesmen and women. Uh, so it ranges in all kinds of people. From painters to woodworkers to sheet metal mechanics, we can build anything and that's pretty amazing to me. The unique thing about the shipyard is the incredible diversity of the workforce. Uh, it, it's simply incredible to see. You have people from all walks of life. You have people from all over uh, the nation that grew up in, in different areas with different customs and uh, different knowledge. From farm backgrounds to city backgrounds to Navy to civilian, uh, but it's leveraging all those individual experiences, I think, that really helps us overcome a lot of the problems and create the, the solutions that we need to move forward. The people are what make PSNS what it is. Without the people, the teamwork, and everybody's desire and pride, uh, we wouldn't have the shipyard. You know, it's not just mechanics, engineers. You know, these are people who, who care and have perspective that you can lean on. These people really care about you. They want you to come to work every day. They want you to do a good job, and they want to do the best job they can for you. There's just wonderful people that share a common commitment, a common interest, um, and dedication not only to our country, but to the sailors that are on the ships and, and the ships themselves. All great people, great people to work with. It's a big family. The opportunities are so great here. And if you're looking for a place that you can have a career, have a long career, uh, this is the place to go. I mean, uh, money drives people sometimes, but sometimes it's better to have a place that you enjoy coming to work every day. I love coming to work every day. The opportunities here at the shipyard are um, only limited by, by what you're willing to do yourself. So if, if you're motivated, um, if you have a desire to grow, the shipyard has a lot of resources uh, to help you reach those goals. Have your eyes and ears open for, for new opportunities, new challenges. You're only limited by yourself here. It's just becoming proficient in what you do and looking for opportunities. Just really focus on what you can do and what difference you can make every day. There's so many opportunities in the shipyard, it's amazing. that With, with almost, what, 12,000 people working here and we're hiring people more every day. There's so much that we have to offer. The sky is literally the limit on what you can do. Uh, as long as you focus and you're motivated to develop yourself and learn as much as you can, there are no bounds to what you can accomplish. Pride's a big part of what we do here. Um, I think everybody here takes pride in, in putting these boats back on the water for the Navy. For me to come to work every day knowing that I'm helping protect our country, knowing that I'm making sure that the sailors come home safely, I take a lot of pride in that. I don't care what you're doing in the shipyard, what you do translates to something that allows a sailor to go do what they're supposed to go do. That to me is just, uh, it's humbling uh, and it's impressive. Knowing that what we do every day impacts the Navy, it's particularly important to me as a former Submariner. Uh, I know that the work that we do on a daily basis on the active ships, the sailors' lives depend on it and their families depend on them coming back successfully. I, I know how important the carrier groups are and these submarines they are for defending the United States. And just being even a little bit just a part of that, it's just, that's an amazing thing. It, there's no small jobs here. Everybody fits in to make that machine go. I think that the product that comes out of the, the shipyard is second to none. They continue to do that every day. Uh, great men and women who sit there and support this shipyard uh, just can't say enough good things about them. When I'm leaving work every day and I walk onto that worker driver bus, it, it warms my heart to see everybody going home safely, of course but it makes me feel good that we did something important for this nation, for the Navy. We all did it together, and we're all going home together. It's, it's a cool feeling.